Okay, I'm back here with the uh, the external hex uh, case where the first two threads are definitely showing a, a marred uh, appearance. Again, looking at the VPS, we were able to d ascertain the um, that it is the f indeed the first two threads. Uh, actually, it's one, two, three. Uh, th the third one is very, very much. Uh, uh, I want to say just uh, cross threaded. So we have to get through a cross thread. And in order to do that, we have a cross threading, you know, s rescue kind of a kit. And so, first thing you want to do is clean the threads thoroughly. I can't, you know, uh, express that anymore any how important it is to get the thread so you take a look at a little pipe cleaner we call these go-betweens and you fill that first with the soap medium and then you actually use tissue and you just blot the tissue and see if any of this metal filings or if there's any you know bio burden in there again do it again this time we're going to use a smaller micro uh, brush and we'll fill that again and clean it thoroughly again. So here we go. We'll fill that up. We'll suction it a little bit. And anything in there that's loose will float up to the top. Micro brush. And then back in there. And cleaning way down in there. And then rotate it. I'm going to continue to rotate. And we use another brush. While we're getting that ready, I'm just going to go ahead and we'll blot this again with the tissue. I'm just going to inspect that. And yes, there is some debris in there. Okay. So I do the same thing. We'll pre pre soak, pre wash, and then do the post soak and post washing. And it's just to mechanically get the good threads and all the threads really clean thoroughly and just rubbing it up and down and rotating it as you take it up and down. Make sure all the threads are getting a good, you know, the bristle contact, contact is important. So we'll do it. Now we'll rinse that with water. Now we're going to take, um, really it's a mild acid. And I'm only going to put a drop in there, and then we'll, again we'll go back in with. with uh, yes, please. And uh, this is what we use on dentures, so it cleans any tartar from a denture. And so we've been very successful. We went up and down and used uh, acetone products. We were trying to use uh, solvent products, but none of them work better than the tartar and stain medium because it doesn't leave a residue and it does break up calculus or mineralized plaque so we have to assume that there's probably been some form of uh, deposit in the threads so clean the threads thoroughly okay okay so then we take a brush a new brush and then I go in again. And you can turn this off now. I'm going to rotate as I take it up and down, up and down. Rotate and turn. Okay, and now I'll visualize. Stay open, please. <coughs> see if we. Kind of like a solvent, but it really isn't a classified. So really, it's just a true mild acid. Of, uh, well, that's fine. So there's really nothing in there at this point. So we're going to just rinse that out thoroughly. Turn that on. Okay. Now there's an attachment that I'm going to use. You can turn that off. There's one more attachment I'm going to use, and this um, will actually blow water down inside. Let's see if I have it here. Okay, 
it's in the top drawer. Okay, now sometimes these things leak a little bit, so I'll give my patient a fair warning. <laughs> You're going to leak on you a little bit of water, but that uh, it happens sometimes. Okay. All right, here we go. Water and suction on. So again, come some water. And then we also have the you know the ability to blow air in there. So we've got both water and air. And uh, I don't think I got you wet. I think this one doesn't. This one doesn't leak that much. Maybe a little bit. Okay. All right. So now we're going to use the micro suction. Everything comes out now. I'll get bone dry and uh, just to look. We're all going to look just to take a look down there. Then we'll put water back in there because we want we want lubrication, copious amounts of lubrication. <coughs> okay. Again the tissue is staying very nicely. There's no irritation, no bleeding, nothing to get in our way. And perfect vision here. Suction again. Okay. So the key is also on the instrument is to mark one spot on that instrument to make sure and also I'm looking at the threads themselves. We'll blow air on the mirror. And it's clear sailing all the way down. It's, it's just those first threads. That's all it is. Okay. All right, we're going to take another quick break. I'll be right back, and we'll uh, 